prostate cancer eliminated by combination of powerful nutrients in apple peels, turmeric root and grape skins. A recent study published in Precision Oncology revealed that a potent combination of compounds from turmeric root, apple peels, and grapes help keep prostate cancer at bay. To carry out the study, a team of health experts at the University of Texas at Austin identified 142 natural compounds that may potentially fend off the disease. The research team then tested these compounds on mouse and human cell lines to identify which ones may mitigate the growth of prostate cancer cells when used either alone or in combination with other compounds. The scientists found that three compounds were notably effective in starving prostate cancer cells and impede their proliferation, the ursolic acid in apple peels, the curcumin in turmeric and the resveratrol in grapes. According to the researchers, ursolic acid was the waxy natural compound commonly seen in apple peels, while curcumin was the bright yellow active ingredient in turmeric. On the other hand, resveratrol was the natural compound found in red grapes or berries. In addition, the study revealed that combining ursolic acid with either resveratrol or curcumin inhibited prostate cancer cells from consuming glutamine. This is a compound that cancer cells need to consume in order to grow, the researchers said. After screening a natural compound library, we developed an unbiased look at combinations of nutrients that have a better effect on prostate cancer than existing drugs. The beauty of this study is that we were able to inhibit tumor growth in mice without toxicity. These nutrients have potential anti-cancer properties and are readily available. We only need to increase concentration beyond levels found in a healthy diet for an effect on prostate cancer cells, said Stefano Tiziani corresponding author and assistant professor in the Department of Nutritional Sciences and Dell Pediatric Research Institute at UT Austin. Turmeric, apple and grapes fend off prostate cancer in past studies. The recent findings were reflective of previous studies demonstrating the compound's efficacy against prostate cancer proliferation. For instance, a 2012 study carried out by researchers at the Ludwig Maximilians Universität in Munich, Germany found that curcumin in turmeric may halt the formation of metastases in patients with prostate cancer. According to the experts, curcumin was found to reduce the expression of two pro-inflammatory aminomodulators in a mouse model. As a result, fewer metastases were observed. The scientists inferred that curcumin may contain beneficial properties that stave off inflammation-related cancers such as prostate and breast cancer. Due to the action of curcumin, the tumor cells synthesize smaller amounts of cytokines that promote metastasis. As a consequence, the frequency of metastasis formation in the lungs is significantly reduced, in animals with breast cancer, as we showed previously, or carcinoma of the prostate, as demonstrated in our new study. This does not mean that the compound should be seen as a replacement for conventional therapies. However, it could play a positive role in primary prevention, before a full-blown tumor arises, or help to avert formation of metastases. In this context the fact that the substance is well tolerated is very important, because one can safely recommend it to individuals who have an increased tumor risk, the research team was quoted in saying on Medical News Today. Com. A study conducted by researchers at the University of Missouri also found that adding resveratrol to radiation therapy effectively eliminated nearly all prostate tumor cells examined. The researchers also found that the combination therapy killed more prostate cancer cells compared with radiation treatment alone. In addition, a research carried out by researchers at the University of Wisconsin revealed that antioxidants found in apple peels may stall cancer cell growth. The study found that prostate cancer cells exposed to gala apple extracts grew more slowly and had shorter survival time. Prostate cancer, boron reduces prostate cancer risk. Compelling evidence is accumulating that the trace mineral boron plays an important role in protecting men against deadly prostate cancer. As men grow older, their risk for prostate cancer skyrockets and metastasis outside the prostate is uniformly lethal. Fortunately, eye-opening studies demonstrate that boron has been found to selectively kill prostate cancer cells while leaving healthy cells unharmed. For in addition, boron has been found to lower PSA which was previously believed to be only a marker for prostate cancer. More recent research shows that elevated PSA is a causative factor in prostate cancer progression. Adequate boron levels are associated with a 64% reduced risk of prostate cancer, 3 but obtaining protective levels of boron from food alone is difficult. 
This means that supplementation with low-cost boron could be a lifesaver for aging males at risk for prostate cancer, in addition to other health benefits provided by this vital mineral. Preferentially targets prostate cancer cells. The idea that supplemental use of boron might reduce the risk of prostate cancer was first brought to the attention of scientists following a 2001 study on dietary patterns of prostate cancer patients. This study compared the diets of 76 prostate cancer patients with those of 7,651 men without cancer. Researchers found that men who ingested the greatest amount of boron from their diets were 64% less likely to develop prostate cancer than those who consume the least. Interestingly, while there was a significant decrease in cancer risk in the group that consumed the most boron, those in the highest intake group only consumed 2.5 additional servings of fruit and 1 additional serving of nuts per day compared to those in the lowest boron intake group. A subsequent study confirmed these findings. For the study, the researchers compared the dietary boron intake of 95 prostate cancer patients with that of 8,720 healthy male controls. They found that men with the highest boron intake showed a 54% lower risk of prostate cancer compared to those with the lowest intake. In addition, they noted that increased dietary boron intake was associated with a decreased risk of prostate cancer in a dose-response manner. These findings not only underscore the remarkable, broad-spectrum health benefits associated with consuming fruits, but also suggested that boron in particular may be responsible for some of these protective benefits. Encouraged by these epidemiological findings showing a connection between dietary intake of boron and reduced risk for prostate cancer, scientists set out to determine if supplementing with boron could protect against prostate cancer. Initial animal studies indicate that the answer is yes. In a validated animal model of prostate cancer, researchers found that oral administration of various concentrations of a boron-containing solution substantially decreased tumor size. It also lowered levels of prostate-specific antigen or PSA the most abundant protein synthesized in the prostate gland, suggesting a possible mechanism for these anti-cancer effects. In this animal model, researchers early administered various concentrations of a boron-containing solution to test subjects and found that this resulted in decreases in prostate tumor size by 25% to 38%. Remarkably, PSA levels dropped by an astounding 86% to 89% in the animals that received boron. These findings suggested that supplemental boron may have both preventive and therapeutic effects, helping both to shrink prostate tumors and to decrease levels of PSA. Using boron as adjuvant treatment. A number of studies have led researchers to conclude that boron could have specific therapeutic potential in the treatment of prostate cancer. Less well-known than PSA is a protein called prostate-specific membrane antigen or PSMA. While PSMA has not yet been completely verified as a marker for prostate cancer, studies have shown that the expression of PSMA in tumors and metastases of men with prostate cancer is greater than PSMA in men without prostate cancer. In 2014, scientists published a cell study based on the ability of boron to inhibit PSMA. They found that boron-rich compounds demonstrate a significant uptake by prostate cancer cells, which indicated that boron compounds may be useful in developing a new class of therapeutic agents, among those known as boron neutron capture therapy or BCNT, against prostate cancer. BCNT is a type of non-invasive, injection-based anti-cancer therapy using boron. Another aspect of boron that makes it an especially beneficial therapeutic agent is its ability to selectively inhibit the growth of prostate cancer cells while still allowing normal prostate cells to grow. Scientists know that these actions are dose-dependent, though the underlying mechanism for this targeted effect is still under investigation. A 2014 study published in Tumor Biology, however, did reveal that a compound containing boron-induced apoptosis, or cell death, in prostate cancer cells. The researchers were able to determine that the boron agent disrupted the normal organization of prostate cancer cells actin filaments, which are thread-like, protein fibers that are an essential element or building block of the cell. The compound containing boron exerted other cytotoxic or cell-killing effects, including the reduction of telomerase activity in the cancer cells. They concluded that the boron in this compound could be an important agent for its therapeutic potential in the treatment of prostate cancer. The major and most deadly danger in prostate cancer is its ability to spread to the bone, which is its natural evolution. Bone is the initial and main site for about 80% of all prostate cancer metastases. 
They occur most commonly in the spine, pelvis, ribs, skull, and proximal femur. These bone metastases induce significant skeletal remodeling, fractures, anemia, and pain, and are a major cause of morbidity and mortality. Prostate cancer has been described as uniformly lethal once it has escaped the confines of the prostate gland. Sadly, the median survival of patients after prostate cancer has spread to the bone is 40 months. Although more studies are needed, boron's remarkably targeted capacity to inhibit the spread of prostate cancer cells while sparing normal cells may have the same targeted effect against prostate cancer cells that have migrated to the bone. With wider boron supplementation, this cytotoxic effect, combined with boron's potential to help prevent prostate cancer from occurring in the first place, could reduce the current 28,000 American deaths from this disease every year. Weak bones, whether the result of cancer or aging, can lead to pain, fracture, and disability. Few people realize that boron plays an integral part in bone metabolism. Boron supports the functions of calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D, all of which are crucial to promoting dense, healthy bone tissue.